everyone. Well, this is our Van Other Collective collaboration with other like-minded vloggers. And this month's uh, collaboration is a van tour, or in our case, a motorhome tour. So Tony will have given you a look at the outside of the van and I'm going to show you the inside of the van. But first of all, I'll let you see Archie. There he is. Archibald. He's very tired, look. He's always tired. He's been to the... Oh, shut up. He's been to the groomers. Archie. Archie. He's not looking, look. There he is. Okay. So, um, also, please uh, like, comment and subscribe on all the other channels' uh, videos. All their channel links are in the description below. Um, and also the playlist is in the description below, so you can click on it and it will take you straight to the playlist of all the Van Other Collected videos. So, let's start the van tour. Right, here we are. This is our eldest Evolution 105. We've had this a year. And uh, it's 5.9 metres in length, 2.6 metres wide, and 2.7 metres height. Uh, we'll start square brown. Let's see what's in this. Here we are. This is the leisure battery. And this is the um, external uh, electric power supply. Okay, what's in there? This is the fresh water tank. This, I believe, is to wash your dog. But it's for an external shower point. Yeah, we've not used it yet. These are the vents for the fridge, the freezer. This is for your waste toilet cassette. Wet that top. Around the back here, we have the bike rack. The, uh, that's the reversing camera and on top of the roof uh, we have a 150 watt solar panel uh, so that's the standard equipment that comes with Brown Hills Evolution series um, uh, bands okay. on this side we've got the door opening on, onto the passenger side got the uh, the metic canopy, external uh, light. Here is where the gas canister blocker for the gas canisters. Uh, there is room for two 13 kilogram um, gas canisters. Okay. This here is a, an external uh, gas for a barbecue that where you uh, diesel and add blue. Go in there at this point, it's quite handy. It tells you the uh, tire pressures. And the engine itself is a Peugeot 2.2 litre, 140 brake horsepower engine. Um, and being only six meters, it's um, it's quite nippy at that. So there you go. That is the external part of um, the van. We'll start off at the front. The van is on a Peugeot uh, base. I can't tell you too much about the engine because I don't know. Tony will have told you that, I hope. Um, we have Reiki blinds on the side windows and across the front. There is a uh, reversing camera where the mirror is. We come down and we've got a sat nav there and it has aircon as well. This box here, I lift this up. Oh, that's it. 
um, it drops down a little bit in there. Now, if you've got the air conditioning on, and obviously it's blowing out cold air, the cold air goes into this box. So if you've got something that you want to keep cold, you can put it in the box and it will keep it cool. Um, on the other hand, if you've got the heating on, um, this then warms up this box. So if you've got something that you wanted to keep warm, you could put it in there. So that's pretty good. Uh, we've got cup holders in the doors down there. I don't know if you can see that very well. And there where my little cacti plant is. And the other side where the chewing gum boxes. Tony has the same down that side. But he has a bag in there which he puts the clutch claw into when we're not using it. We have a 12 volt holder there which we plug in for the sat nav um, but sometimes if we need to charge on our journey USBs in this 12 volt which we just interchange and put in there instead. So that's the front. We like the seating. very comfy they both have two arms on each chair and they both swivel round so that's about the front um, up here we have shelving which we just keep bits and bobs in there's a little shelf there we don't really put anything there unless we've parked up and the same this side and there we keep national trust books and maps and our caravan and motorhome and camping and caravan club books there. Sat nav sits in there when we're not using it and we're on the go. Then we have a skylight up here. Um, again, it has a blind and it also has a fly screen with it as well. And it has a wind here. You wind it and it goes up. This side raises up. Then we come over here and we've got the cupboards. Two shelves and we keep things like underwear and your trousers and things like that in there. This one, we've just got like tea and coffee, um, cereals, we have lots of crisps and th things like that and it gets stuffed high. Um, we've got wet wipes here and we have kitchen roll and things like that in there. This side, I'm ashamed to show you, is full of my shoes, but it needs tidying out. When I've been away, everything just gets shoved in it and it needs sorting. Tony's got his slippers up there and he's got his cycle uh, chain lock there. A couple of games. I don't think we've played them, but they're in there. Um, my sleeping bag here. Some posh shoes if we go out at night. So that's there. Right, Archie. Good boy. And then moving slightly back, I'll show you the lights. There's four of these little lights and they all come on individually. So we do like that because, you know, sometimes you don't want all the little lights on. It's nice to have a light on, but not all of them at the same time. So we do like these. And you can move them about wherever you want to direct them down or up or whatever. And the windows all obviously have blinds and a fly net. Then we've got the bench seats that are really comfy. Archie's, that's his bench seat. And we make these into beds. We swivel the chairs round at night. We pull them out into the centre to about there which makes a nice single bed. We've tried it as a double, but it, you know, you have to scramble over each other to go to the loo in the night, so we don't bother. Um, it's got some nice storage under here. We've got the consumer unit there where all the fuses go. And um, there's a pump down here somewhere. There, Tony's bag, uh, sleeping bag's on it. And some tools and bits and bobs in there. This side is just the same. It's quite a big area. We've got all sorts in, in the back there. And, and, and seats. Two seats. High gear chairs that are very comfy. Moving to the kitchen area. 
we've got a microwave there and then we have a cupboard which has got all our plates and cups and things in it this foam um, it's quite deep and I cut slits in it to put the plates in so that when you're traveling along they don't rattle um, in this basket we've just got cups and glasses all wrapped in this sort of a thing and bubble wrap to stop them rattling about that's that cupboard then we move down to the window we've got a blind here with a fly net and then here we have the sink and move the washing bowl out and it shows you what a nice big uh, sink we have there and a nice tap which is now repaired this side the lights and if you see there is spotlights under there which are quite nice plug in this socket here for the Huawei Wi-Fi that just plugs in there we have another socket and then we've got two USBs just there moving over to this side we have the cooker hob and if we lift and just watch the tap we lift it up we have a three burner gas hob it's very nice to use a large one and two smaller ones um, moving down we've got a cupboard here and it's got three shelves at the moment there's not an awful, awful lot in it because we haven't been anywhere yet um, first aid kit a chopping board we, we just have a little container there with tins and things I've got tea towels and things like that in there I've got spoons and uh, utensils there and I've got my snowman, if you can see him, salt and pepper, a few more bits and bobs there, and that's like washing up liquid and stuff there. Can't have enough cloths. I've always got lots of cloths in case we need to wrap anything up. Then you come across the oven. Nice sized little oven here. It's got a little grill pan. I don't think we've ever used it as yet. I mean, we've used the oven, but not the grill pan. But it's a nice little oven and then below it to move backwards a bit we've got another cupboard and I just keep pans and things like that in there odd cup a jug and then you've got all your taps there for gas etc which we do not touch and then moving across we've got our Dometic fridge it's a manual fridge um, you either have it on battery, electric or gas but you have to remember to switch it over from battery to the electric if you're going on a campsite and if you're not to put it onto the gas but we like it, it's nice got a little freezer box there and it's plenty big enough for us for what we need and that's that um, the, the cooker is a Thetford and the fridge is a Dometic and if we move round to this side there's Archie again we've got um, the heating panel here and the water tells you what we've got and what we haven't got that's a switch here for the lighting and door has another blind on it and then over this side we've got the 12 volt um, TV plug-in and another uh, pinpoint there for a plug. These are your heating and water and you just waft your hand over them. It's really good. You just waft it over. You can just tap things to switch it on and off. This is where we have um, our TV. It's got a nice little shelf here. We've got uh, two drawers here keep electrical things in there for the TV and there's a few fuses and tie pins and pegs and things in the back there this drawer we've got cling film and that sort of thing bags and and things in there 
And the bottom one is our arches. He's got towels and leads and all sorts of things in there. Biscuits and food when we go away. I've got a bin here. And this is the canopy winder outer. And we move over here. This is our wardrobe. Uh, it's plenty big enough for, you know, your clothes when you go away. It's a nice little shelf here to put things on when you are actually parked up. Uh, table top there for our tiny table. Here, let's move those back. Here we've got a table, the large table, and then that there is the uh, legs for the tiny table. And that's just a mat. We've got a toilet roll there and a fire blanket at the back behind it and then a fire extinguisher. Um, it's got a television aerial there that you unscrew and you push it up and turn it round. I don't really get involved in that, that's Tony. It's also got, if I just move the coats to one side, in here we have the Truma. This is the solar panel uh, box that tells us how much solar we've got so um the lights on it indicate how much solar we have this one is the aerial amplifier Let me push them back i really like these coat hangers oops they're like a velvet coat hanger and they stop your clothes slipping off them. But when we were traveling along, you could hear them moving up and down the rail. And I got a bit fed up with it. So what I did, I put sellotape round the hook and it's, it's not really sticky now, but because you've got that round it, if I put it back in here, they don't move. You can see that. So nothing slides up and down the rail. I mean, you can have ordinary coat hangers in between, but nothing slides up and down. So that is just a little tip that uh, I thought of. So that's that. And then we come to the, oh, I haven't told you about this. We've got a fan here that when you're cooking, um, you open it and it sucks the air out. And then if you turn it the other way, it brings air in. So that's good. Move to the bathroom. Now this is what sold it to us because we really like a bathroom. Anyway, oh, these covers, I need to be doing it with my right hand really, and I'm doing it left-handed. They've got little shells with lips on, so that stops things falling out. Two decent sized shelves, really. We like that. Nice closing buttons on them. Then you come down and we've got the toilet with a push button system. That's a Thetford and that's the toilet. Um, this is just a mat. And down there is the um, vent for the heating. So it blows warm air into the bathroom. Then we come to the mirror and as we go down we've got a nice sink there nice tap and a little shelf around just to put little bits and bobs on a nice little holder for a glass and it's only plastic but it's a nice glass and then underneath here we've got another cupboard it looks a bit of a junky junky at the minute and he's tidy in that is in there it, because I'm always a bit concerned whether these pipes leak. They won't because they're being repaired but when we first had the van it wasn't leaking a lot but it was dripping and we kept getting water dripping down so I just keep that there just in case. Um, again toilet fluids and cleaning things, cleaning solutions are kept in the bottom. Uh, under here we have a little light that um, when you walk by it and when it's dark the light comes on 
So that's handy at night if you don't want to put the big lights on um, and disturb somebody. And it's just you enough light to use the bathroom. And if we turn this way to the right, we've got a nice shower. And it's plenty big enough. There's no, no humps in it or anything. It's a nice flat shower. Let's turn the light off now. Again, I haven't said that, but there's little spotlights in the bathroom and then above the mirror. Then the, there is another little uh, skylight there. It's all carpeted, as you would expect. And that side as well. We do have a mat here just to catch the dirt, you know, from coming into the van. So I think actually this is the end of our motorhome tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll just give you a, another quick look round, slow as I can. And if you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to ask us in the comments. We'll be quite happy to uh, answer your questions. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to everybody's channel in the description below. We would really appreciate it um, and help everybody out. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye for now.